You guys want to watch the X mob boss shit? What the fuck is this? I don't even know what it is, but let's watch it. If a mob boss was ever visiting a psychiatrist, oh, yeah. he'd be in the trunk of his car by the end of the week, along with a psychiatrist. That would never happen. My name is Michael Francis, and uh, yeah, I was a former capo in the Colombo crime family, one of the five New York Mafia La Cosa Nostra families. I'm now residing in um, the Los Angeles area, and I'm oh, here to, uh, to be a movie critic. Oh, nice. How you doing? That's where I'm at. The Godfather. Come on, this would never happen. First of all, there's too much work involved in this, you know? You got so many guys, and uh, usually mob hits are not done like that. I mean, they're normally done at close range, small caliber guns and shotguns being used. I never saw anything like this before. I know back in the 20s, they used machine guns. That's Atomic interesting. Guns was the, was hey, the that's interesting, then, chat. To me, this scene seems to be unrealistic. What a 10 unrealistic, get it out. Oh, kiss the budget. Oh, kiss the budget. Hey, kiss the weekend. Huh? There was always a guy of that size. In always. every crew and every family, there always. was always somebody that big that was around. But I got one of those. I got one of those. Lions eat a lot, and some of them get real big. You know, I doubt you'd ever see this many people. The last time something like this occurred was Appalachia, back <laughs> in New York, uh, when guys from all over the country came New in. York. I think they probably modeled this scene after that. You know, ever since law enforcement uh, uh, invaded that uh, that meeting, it never happened again. Hey, and Chad, it's Fat Tony. You're right. Hey, Chad, it's Fat fucking Tony. Hey, you guys are absolutely right. That's comedy. We always got one in the crew. There he is, fat tongue. That I know for a fact. <laughs> no way. We're both part of the same hypocrisy. Oh, the God. But never think it applies to my family. All right. All right. Some people have to play little games. We infiltrated society um, on every level, from the guy on the street in the numbers business right up to the White House. And you would never see a politician talk to us like that because most of them uh, we supported. And I'm wondering if I would have been able to stay calm, um, which was the right thing to do. I know it was you, Fredo. This kiss of death, that was a Sicilian thing, I believe. And, <laughs> And uh, certainly something that might have happened in Italy. This is a scene that, you know, that, that became close to me because I had a brother, or I have a brother, that uh, we actually do that turned shit. informant and testified against my dad and, and actually tried to hurt me and went into the witness protection program. I haven't hey. seen him in 10 years. Uh, it's very hard to bear, hard to deal with. Since I walked away from that life and basically, you know, violated my oath just by walking away. Not that I ever hurt anybody, but just by walking away. Uh, contract on my life, the whole bit. Did you ever worry about your family? And my answer is no. We didn't go after law enforcement. We didn't bother anybody's family. That was hands off. In Italy, you know, they go after your, your family, law enforcement. I mean, you know, there's no rules when it comes to stuff like that. Hey, hey, what my grandfather does that, he grabs my fucking neck and he goes, oh, hey, don't. He fucking, he's fucking nuts. That's what he does. He grabs me by the head. It, it fucking, I'm like, damn, great. No, no, what the You're fuck? No, no. Oh, I, I never tried. What the fuck? So you were right. Y yeah. Whack him. Whack him. No! Whack I his, can tell you this scene head. is not unrealistic because, you know, in a mob uh, run casino, uh, we certainly wouldn't have tolerated anybody cheating like that. Absolutely so not. This. I mean, he breaks somebody's legs, put him in a hospital. Even my dad broke somebody's knees before. I probably shouldn't have said that. He'll tell you the story. No, this is Lefty Rosenthal. He wasn't he, a he main tried member, to play him. but he was an associate, but he dressed the part. De Niro he tried to and play Gotti him, Chad. You know, he had to break myself, his knee. He dressed up pretty good. And every week, he had to. I was at weddings and funerals. He had to do what he Half had to do. Time, you don't disrespect my pops. Getting married, but we had to go as a matter of respect. So we had to dress up quite a bit. I mean, I probably had 50 suits at that time. Maron. 50 like suits, Welch's forget one about it. Piece of ass, forget about it. What the fuck? Why does this always happen to me, bro? Hey, why does this always happen to me, bro? Hey, life is such a simulation. Hey, can we clip this shit? Hey, we gotta clip this, because I'm telling you, this stuff keeps happening to me, and it freaks me out all the time. I don't get it. But then, if you disagree, like a Lincoln is better than a Cadillac, Forget about it. All right, I got to tell you this. <laughs> this is probably one of the most realistic scenes in all of mob movie dumb. You know, it's funny. I'm a speaker now and every... Put it this way, chat. 
We got eight. Ca My grandfather's got eight Cadillacs. Half of them he doesn't even drive. He's got fucking old school. Ca we got a few of the old school Cadillacs. The old, old schools with the long leather seats. It smells like cigars on the inside. Fucking, I drove it a couple times. But we, they still got them. Bunch of Cadillacs and fucking Mercedes and shit. I say forget about it, which I say by habit, uh, people laugh. You know, this, this scene made that word famous. It applies to everything. It's just like the sit down. Anytime you had any kind of meeting, it was always at a sit down. We had to sit down and discuss, you know, a life forget and death about matter. It. We had to sit down just to have dinner. E everything was done at a sit down. 10 out of 10, baby. You're an entry in my book. That's all. You're just a guy who owes me money. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's number one, it's the perception that this person is a serious guy that can, you know, maybe hurt you. And that intensifies that look. Because I know a lot of times, you know, people said, hey, all you got to do is look at somebody and they get nervous. Travolta, I thought, killed this role. You know, a lot of mob guys, I mean, myself being one of them, got involved in entertainment. Travolta took it to another level, wanting to be a director and uh, whatever it was. We were Travolta more or less behind the scenes, you know, financing some of these things, getting to know some of the people, some of the perks involved with it. And really, that was, a, that was it. John Travolta, baby. What an animal. Good help. And you had Nikki Eyes. What's up, guy? Mm -hmm. And Mikey Franchese. Yeah, yeah, now, I don't think he really looked like me. I'll be honest with you. I was in a theater. I had just gotten out of prison, um, and I went to see this with my wife. And after a few minutes, she looked at me, and she said, you know, is this really what you guys did? Is that what your life was all about? And I said to her, honey, come on, it's a movie. They make things up. You know, don't, don't, don't pay attention. No sooner do I say that than they introduce my character, and she looks at me, and I said, come on, we got to go. And I walked out, because I didn't know why they put me in. It was a different crew. It's Frankie the Wop. I got in trouble. Freddie No Nose. How are you doing? People say, well, how'd you come up with those nicknames? You know, like there was a guy that uh, <laughs> no way, we dude. called Chicken Head. And the reason we called Chicken him that head. because he used to uh, shoot the head off of chickens when he was practicing his marksmanship. You know, he had Benny Eggs. Well, why'd you call him Benny Eggs? Well, he liked eggs. He ate them all the time. So we weren't really original with the names. <laughs> Benny uh, we had eggs. Fat Tony Salerno. Why'd you call him Fat Tony? Fat well, he Tony. Was... Fat fucking Tony. Fat Tony, Jack. Fat. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? Oh, yeah, am I funny? What am I, fucking I mean, clown? Just... You know, they made Henry out to be a lot more uh, uh, no, no, no. significant in the life than he really was. He, he was just a lost soul. He always had a drug problem, alcohol problem. For me, Joe Pesci is, is the oh, best he's the portrayer best. of any mob guy. He's the best. You know, he was around street guys. He knew guys on the street, and he just had it down so perfectly. He was the best. Joe Pesci's a replica of my father, Chad. He really is. My dad looks like Joe Pesci. He really does. Hey, put your eyes up. Great movie. Great movie. You know, most of the local police, they didn't bother us. You know, it was really the FBI and, you know, investigative agencies like that, especially the feds. I doubt if anybody, even though he was protecting his son, would ever come right out front like that and uh, and look to put people on front street, so to speak. Front no. street, in other words, you're telling the police that, you know, one of these guys might be guilty of doing something. So you're, you're actually, you know, in mob terms, you're becoming a rat or a snitch and, uh, you know, you'd pay a price for that. There's about $30. $30. That's all he's got on him, Michael. Where's the rest? Yeah, where's the rest? Well, I bought a few rounds of drinks over here while I was waiting. You know, this whole Shylocking <laughs> scene, um, you know, very up. accurate. Shylocking, loan sharking, you know, basically. I always think of Home Alone when I, when I think of Joe Pesci. Everybody yeah, bro. that was in that life what a moron. You know, was in that business that had any money. You know, he plays these roles good. I think today, you know, the way De Niro's acting, he thinks he really is a mob guy. You know, it's kind of permeated his whole being and his character. Mm hmm. The Simpsons. Oh, where'd you get that truck? Uh, it, it fell off a truck. Uh, you know, a truck truck. 
A lot of things fell off a truck. I mean, that was the expression that we use, whether it be clothing, suit, you know, uh, electronics, uh, cars, whatever. Uh, you know, hijacking was a I never big heard that. thing back in the day. I didn't know no that. Question about it, it. fell there off a truck. There were some guys that were professional hijackers. Today, it's it very difficult, but it was a lot easier to change the serial numbers and, uh, and make a new car out of it. Nobody could really find it. For me, with my pops, whenever, I, whenever my dad brought home shit, he would just say, I know, I just know a guy. I, I know a guy. And no guy hooked me up with, it, with this. He hooked me, he got me this, he got me that. This and that, boom, ba boom, bada bing, bada boom. It's so. Let's get out of here, come on. Come on. You know, I'm a little bit jaded when I, when I look at this film, the only movie. because I know that the Sheerhan story is fiction. I mean, he didn't kill Hoffa. I didn't know Jimmy Hoffa personally, but it was during my time. But I do have insight into, you know, the what really happened there. He was a hot-headed guy, and he was a very, he was one of the most powerful guys in the country yeah, he at was. that point. Remember this, an you animal. control the Teamsters. Was an animal. Great in, movie, in Chad. Way, you control the country. Good you know, movie. Number one, you got zillions of dollars in your pension funds you call a strike as a teamster you know you got two and a half million people stopping no thing gets delivered everything stops and that's a tremendous amount of power he got intel oh, the shit. joey gallo killing that was because i know you know for a fact what happened there like i said that was our time and you know i was i was in the middle of that i wasn't a shooter don't get me wrong but i knew it was our family for him to be so you know out spoken about doing that it was just so wrong i mean the scene was accurate i mean he did get killed in that way he did get out into the street and they did get him there and his family was there the whole thing but shihan wasn't the, the shooter Damn. you are in Damn. effect the mayor of chicago you have not simply been appointed to that position <laughs> i mean he he certainly looked the part you know everybody looks at capone like he was a 40 50 year old guy he was like 29 years old he was in his 30s when he passed away i think Damn. you know capone was bigger than life in the capone. movies he wasn't bigger than life with us i mean nobody really regarded him you know even my father said you know he was we chased him out of brooklyn he went to chicago oh I mean, that's not right my father my father's 103 so he was around all of these guys. You know, unfortunately, I get asked about all the time is about murder in that life. And, and I will tell you this, murder was taken very seriously, okay? It can only be approved by the boss. So I've been very, very fortunate. To you heard that, chat? It can only be approved by the boss. It can only be approved by the boss. That's why in GTA, Everybody got to listen to the boss. That's why I lose fucking composure when nobody listens to the boss. You understand, Peg? You see? You understand? That's why I lose composure when people don't listen to the boss. Because everything runs through him. You don't do anything unless the boss tells you to do something. That's how it goes. That's just how it is. To be here where I am now and, and not dead or in prison like just about all of my associates. Yeah, my dad's the same way. My dad went to prison. He got deported to Italy. He's still in Italy now. He's lucky that my, my dad's lucky. He's lucky. If a mob boss was ever visiting nothing. a psychiatrist, he'd be in the trunk of his car by the end of the week, along with a psychiatrist. That would never happen. Don't do it! No, 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 don't do it! Don't do it. Don't do it. It's my arm! Oh, There's no way in the world if a mob boss hit anybody that that guy would come back at him. No way. Especially in front of all. If he did, you don't ever raise your hand to a made guy, no matter who you are. You raise your hand to a made guy, you're dead. And so, um, and they know that. So this this is not a realistic scene. So David Chase gets in touch with me uh, through a friend of mine, Jack Gelardi at ICM, and he says, "Look, I'm doing this series for Fox, no, it's and we true. want you to be." He's right. If somebody jumps a if somebody jumps the boss, he's gonna get whacked. You don't hit the boss, especially not in front of people. You know, and that's something we do very well in GTA. When anybody, somebody messes with me, you know, they, they fucking, they do what they got to do with GTA, you know? Be involved as a consultant. And I said, you know, I'm on parole and all this stuff. And things. So I turned it down. That's how smart I am, right? The Sopranos. But I, I always wondered Sopran. why he contacted me. In my house back in the 60s, when it was being built, the government, the FBI, installed a bugging device. They had it in the kitchen of our house, and they picked up a lot of the conversation on a daily basis. And I am telling you that Tony Soprano's mother was so much like my mother. You know, maybe got the Freedom of Information Act, maybe did something, but he got a hold of that surveillance uh, tapes. That's unbelievable. And he patterned that woman uh, on my mother. 
And I said, I, I, I would, I'll tell you, I would almost stake my life on I've never had a chance to talk to him about it. One other thing, though. John said he went to a cookout at your house. Yeah. Don doesn't wear shorts. That, that's not true at all. I mean, I saw, you know, on a hot summer day in uh, Harlem, you know, guys would sit out in front of their social clubs and they'd be in shorts, even the boss. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's not true. I mean, you go on a boat, you're in shorts. Or maybe somebody told them that, that, you know, didn't know yeah, what they bullshit. were talking about, but that's not true. Tony Soprano. Man, what a fucking animal. What an animal, bro. What an... Hey, that video was fire. Hey, Vows, good video. Hey, can we go to Wows in the chat? That was a good video. I like that.